I'm Gary Seegers. Catch me on Twitter at GaryWCE. And I'm Chris Giannini. Follow me at Chris B. Giannini. And this is the Winning Cures Everything podcast from winningcureseverything.com. Line up for the opening kick. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Cyclones have got a guy at quarterback that is a true leader. We found that out this week talking to him. We sure did, Brad. It was interesting this week, and as you and I prepared for this game, finding out that he called a players-only meeting without any of the coaches just to get this team focused and let them understand what it takes to go on the road and to win this kind of game. And when you have that kind of leadership, you got a real chance to be able to go on the road and win. About five yards that time on the throw. Here's a safe play hitting the underneath receiver, but it's a nice gain of five. Complete. He's got room. He's pushed out of bounds. Right around the 44-yard line. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Well, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver. And the result, again, a nice play for the offense. Throws complete. He's got space to work. Brought down at the 47. The quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. He makes it out to about the 44-yard line. So that scamper by the halfback is good for a first down. Well, the defense closed in on him pretty quickly, but not before he picked up just enough yards for the first. Setting up play action. From the 44-yard line, second down. Get it on the counter, and they shut it down. Really good play here and run support by the linebackers. The big guys up front took away the running lanes, and he was able to get through for a loss. He zips it, makes the catch, and gets out of bounds. This guy's got the combination of smarts and reliability that makes a receiver really dangerous. No wonder he's looked to on third down. Tackle at the 24. Looks like he flinched down there on the line. Once you're set, you've got to stay that way. The slightest flinch is going to be enough to draw the flag. From the 29-yard line, second down. And he's level at the 28-yard line. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. Deep pass to the end zone. Oh, and he can't hold on. So they don't pick up a first down here on third down, setting up this fourth down. Now, a smart decision here, in my opinion, by a coach, is to get points. You don't want to take too many calculated risks here where you're trying to go for it all the time on fourth down. Get the points while you can. Kicks away, and he got it! Iowa State is lining up to kick this one off. Jamison from the one. He's tackled at the 23-yard line. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. Gets it out quickly to the back, but he can't haul it in. And that 
one probably should have been picked off. Yeah, are you kidding me? There's a blanket around that receiver. Somebody else had to be open. We've got third and 10. Ball on their own 23. Boy, that hurts the offense to have to go three and out. They're going to have to think about how to get something going the next time they come out. Milton will be the return man. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Milton fields it at the 30, and he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. The quarterback leads his squad back out. They got three on their last possession. Iowa State is up a field goal. Makes the grab past the marker. He's taken down around the 48-yard line. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. Throws complete, he's hit right away. Two times, two times. Brings him second and five. Three down, three down. Yeah, hey, Mike. I know that's what's the matter. Here we go. Green nine times. Second. 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 Wants to go long and does. It's caught. Touchdown, Cyclone. He hits the PAT. So a short three-play, 59-yard drive. And they put up seven points. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The defense really stepped up to force that three and out on the last drive. They've been beaten soundly on both sides of the ball, and we haven't even gotten to the second quarter. Quick pass. And he's taken down at about the 33-yard line. That makes it second and two. He's at midfield. Makes it to the 47. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's good for a game four yards. That makes it second and six. Tackle made at the 27. Fires quickly and he's got his man. And they push him out at the 17. Gets out to about the 15-yard line. Gaining two yards. That makes it second and eight. From the 15-yard line, second down. Set, green and eight. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. This is the eighth play of this drive. That's a great tackle at the 23. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. And they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here. Kicks up, and he nails the long field goal. Texas, 
chances. Ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Iowa State's offense is really looking dangerous so far in this one, Kirk. I mean, what's the defense going to do to slow them down? I think you have to start somewhere, and that, that somewhere, I think, is stopping the run. You have to load up, take your chances, put extra numbers in the box. Once you stop the run, then it's going to allow you to put some pressure on their passing game. Right now, they're not stopping the run or the pass. Throws it out right to the running back. He's tackled in the open field. They're about four yards away here on second down. Iowa State is up a score. Ready! Red 68! Red 68! And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. This game's already shaping up to be a good one as we head to the second quarter. 10-3, Cyclone. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Gets to about the 37-yard line. Gain of three on the play. That makes it first and ten. Three down, three down. 40's the mic, 40's the mic. They'll bring him down at the 46. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Slings it quickly to his halfback again. And down he goes, right around the 40. That'll make it second and seven. Second and seven. Ball on the 40-yard line. Three down, three down. Mike 40, Mike 40. Let's go. Green 19. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. That's good for him. At the 32. Good for a game of six yards. First down. Iowa State is up seven. Caught and he's hit immediately. That makes it seven into ten. Sends it out quick. Intercepted. I just don't think he saw the defender. And he threw the ball right at him. That's what happens when you focus on one guy. You get tunnel vision. From their own 28-yard line, it's first down. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. And they make the stop around the 31-yard line. He's on the run. He gets sacked on the play. No game on the play. That brings up fourth and seven. Milton is the deep man awaiting the return. He 
He makes it out to maybe the 36 yard line. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Iowa State up seven points. He's going to try and scramble. He's tackled at the 37 yard line. That's a game of one. That makes it second and eight. He wants it all. The senior makes the catch. Touchdown, Cyclones. And he converts the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. In your face. Brought down at the 38. Impressive game there, but it do it all back. at about the 47 yard line it's second down and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker here we go Run, huh? fires back to the tailback but he can't bring it in third down with a run and a very physical play here by the defense. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. The Cyclones will use their first time out of the half. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. This punch goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. Iowa State's offense is just clicking on all cylinders, Herbie, right now. It's everything they planned for, and it's all working. Everything is coming together for this offense. They seem to be getting better with each series. And, you know, this game started where this team was, you know, they wondered if they were going to be able to move the ball against this defense. And I think right now, I think they seem to, as I said earlier, they seem to be growing with their confidence with each possession. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. That is a loss of three yards. That brings up second and 13. So that sack sets them back a little bit now. They're looking at second and 13. Throws complete and he stopped immediately. Gain of seven yards. just suffocated him there. Everybody up close, it looks like they're coming after this kick. Oh, excellent punt. He makes it to the 45-yard line. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. He's scrambling. Got some open field. 
fumble! And the ball hawking safety scoops it out. exactly what this defense was looking for. Yeah, that fumble gives these guys some added life. Now let's see if they can capitalize off of it. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. They come out on an empty backfield. Fires out to his receiver. He's hit and taken down. Iowa State will take their second time out of the half. Second and five coming up here. Ball on their own 43. He passes it. That makes it first and ten. Ready! Green 90! Green 90! He launches one for the end zone! Incomplete, almost picked off. Oh, I bet the defender wishes he had that one back. Yeah, anytime you have a chance to end the drive, especially in your own end zone, you just gotta make that play. It's up, looks long enough, and he splits the uprights. Boy, he had plenty of distance there and pushed it through. Very impressive leg strength. 20 to three, Iowa State. First half comes to a close as they head to the locker rooms. 20 to three. Cyclone. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. This halftime lead is much larger than any of us anticipated and now the challenge becomes to maintain it and try to make sure that you don't let the other guy get up off the deck. Yeah, I think they're probably as surprised as we are because we thought it was going to be very competitive, but don't sleep on them yet. It's not over. This is still a really good ball club, and I think you got to make sure that you understand that they're, they're, they're even with you most of the time. You just had a big first half. They can have a big second half, so you make sure you come out in the second half. You execute. You try not to make mistakes, but don't sleep on those guys over on the other side. We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit ready with a call. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Cyclones continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He fights forward to about the 26. Gets out to about the 37-yard line. Hit on the throw. He caught it. He's taken down. Right around the 44-yard line. Him hard at the 36. Gaining eight yards. That makes it second and two. Ready. Gets out to around the 28. Decent pickup. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Quick 
throw to the tight end. He gets hit out of bounds. Right around the 22-yard line. And they get nice yardage on that run. the ball and he shoved out of bounds at the four yard line and he's taken down at the two gain of two yards that brings him second and goal They're not done yet. I think the option down by the goal line is a great call. It puts so much pressure on the defense and it allows the quarterback to have the decision to run it or pitch it. And this time it worked to perfection. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. Caught open field. Tackle made right around the 36-yard line. That's a game you love on the play. That makes it first and ten. Lang takes the give. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's good for a game of five yards. That brings him second and five. Throws this one away. Third and five situation. Ball on the 41. There's a strike complete. They'll get him for a loss. Number 31 takes him down behind the line at the 40 yard line. Fourth down. The punt upcoming, and they're going to come after this one. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. Iowa State's coaches just got to be happy. I'd love to coach a kid like this. Oh, I think these coaches love to coach a guy like this, and another great performance by him individually and for this offense. So their last drive resulted in six points. Do you think we'll see the same result on this one? They ran the ball extremely well on their last drive. And until this defense figures out how to stop it, I think they'll have no problem moving the ball down the field. So it's second and 10. Ball on their own 30. He's to the 40. Gets out to around the 45. He gets another set of downs and, more importantly, opens up a whole host of play calling possibilities for the coaching staff. He makes it to the 48 yard line. quickly to the tight end. Knocked out of bounds at the 41-yard line. Ready. 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 
Trouble, but he can't shake the defense. That makes it third and eleven. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the thirty-one. right around the 32-yard line. I know the defense would have liked to have prevented such a big game, but the important thing is that they held and brought up fourth down. And they can make this a one-possession game with this kick right here. It has the distance, and he just drilled it from long range. They line up to kick this one away. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The offense is looking to be a little bit more successful with this drive as they had to punt the ball away the last time they had it. Iowa State is up by a touchdown. He scrambled. Decides to slide. They'll bring him down at the 38-yard line. First Makes it to the 47. They'll spread the field with five wide. Set, check, line, 80, eagle. Ah, 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 ah. And they push him out around the 50-yard line. Call it a game of three yards. First down. Steps out of bounds around the 47-yard line. And they make the stop at the 49. So with one quarter remaining, the Cyclones in front, 20-13. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Tosses out to the tailback on the screen. He's at the 30. He might have a chance. Touchdown. Huge play. Well, the offense certainly did their job. They've extended their lead here in the fourth quarter, and now they look at their defensive counterparts and say, hey, guys, it's your turn. He makes the PAT. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, the last drive was good for three, but I'm sure in this one they'll be looking to double that. Knocked out immediately after the catch. Has 
some daylight. Makes it to the 37. That makes it first and ten. Run, run, run. Gains his way to the 26-yard line. the 13. Forward to about the 10. That's good for three yards. Third down. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. So they're going to go for it here. Scrambling around. Brought down at the eight. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Tackle at about the 21. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 21. Less than three minutes in the game. Ready! Bring 19! They'll run it. He fights forward to about the 23. The running back gets two on the carry. That brings up second and nine. Makes it to the 31. Texas will take their first time out of the half. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. He's brought down in the open field. You know, on these shorter distances to pick up a first down, it's basically the offensive line matching up against the defensive line. And on that particular conversion, the offensive line did a nice job of getting just enough of a push to give the back enough room for the first down. Brock gets six yards on the play. They're about four yards away here on second down. And he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. tailback and he's met in the backfield. Rivera is waiting for the snap. Boom, 
booming kick. He fields the punt at the 16. He makes it to the 32-yard line. I'm sure there are a lot of fans out there hoping for a miracle, but I seriously doubt we're going to see one today. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. He's taken down at the 37. The spike will stop the clock. They're about four yards away here on third down. Dumps it incomplete, wanted the screen. And there wasn't anyone in the vicinity. I think the ball just slipped out on them. That makes it fourth and four. Set! Three up! Wow, what a battle, and what a stop right there. Congratulations for that defense. That's going to be the ball game. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. If you're an offensive coordinator, you love this play. His quarterback will take a knee. The Cyclones know that they have to enjoy this guy while they've got him because somewhere down the line he's going to be at the next level. Well, that'll definitely be in his future, but for now he needs to sit back and just enjoy this performance and, and really the play caller, the quarterback, the offensive line, the receivers, the entire group as, as, as just a whole should feel good about their performance. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.